the great Indian meditation master Shanti Deva said in his text guide to the Bodhisattva's way of life. If something can be remedied, why be unhappy about it? And if there is no remedy, there is still no point in being unhappy. So this is a quote which can help us to understand patience. And if you're a keen practitioner, you'll endeavor to try to memorize this quote. If something can be remedied, why be unhappy about it? And if there is no remedy, there is still no point in being unhappy. Set yourself a challenge to memorize this quote. I'll keep repeating it yeah, again and again uh, over these next seven weeks. Maybe each week I said good sort of tattoo a few words on my forehead. Yeah, It's helpful to have some some words to encourage us on our, on the way, encourage us to get into the meaning of what it means to practice patience. The art of patience. That's what we're exploring, the art of patience. How can we train in the art of patience? What does it mean to be patient? Are we patient? Do we have patience? Well, the good news is, yes, you already have patience in your mind look at you all now you look very patient to me just sitting there calmly listening to me talk yeah. that indicates you've got patience you've got some patience already so that we need to always when we're training start from a positive perspective thinking considering the patience we already have in our mind and feel that we're building on our existing patience we're deepening our patience as a positive perspective yeah, of ourselves having a positive perspective of ourselves relating to the patience in our mind. We may not yet have the patience of a saint. <laughs> you might do. But one day, we may well. You know, the Bodhisattva, the, we're talking about this text, the Bodhisattva's way of life, Bodhisattva, in a sense, is like a saint, yeah? a being working for the benefit of all living beings. They've completely relinquished self-interest. And we talk about the patience of a saint. Right? Patience is something that we have, and it is something that we can train in and develop. And that's why we are doing this course. Uh, and it's a, it's a, in a sense it, it's a great step to it's a it's a humble step to take to do a course about patience because you could think oh, I don't need that. 
That's not for me. I know some people who could do with it there. Someone in my home at uh, this very moment in time who could do with a bit of this. It's just a shame they're not listening. Getting worked up about something, yeah. Or someone next door. But this, all of this information I'll be passing on, this knowledge, which has been passed on to me, yeah. we need to take as personal advice. And myself, as I'm teaching this, I will be giving myself this advice. You know, I'm not sitting here on some kind of pedestal, you know, the lofty patient man, you know, administering wisdom to the lesser mortals. You know, they're all in this together, to quote some terrible phrase from a political party. <laughs> but it was used before that, I'm sure. But, you know, we're all human beings, all of us. Yeah. And can't see any dogs at the moment. There's Jess's dog. Maybe Jess's dog's there. So it usually makes a guest appearance in the meditation. But we're all human beings. We're all born without choice. None of us chose our parents by the fire. Yeah, fantastic. None of us chose our parents. None of us uh, planned this. We just found ourselves. We were thrown into this existence and we're trying to work out what's happening. And we're still, to some degree, trying to work that out making sense of the world. But we've evolved uh, in our existence to the point where we do have time now to step back and learn how to be peaceful, which to some degree is what the practice of patience is, learning how to be deeply peaceful. But all of us need this. I need more patience. We start, we, our starting point is we recognize the patience in our mind. But then we have the humility to appreciate that we can have more. We can develop more patience. We can become more and more patient. And that is fantastic because it's an opening to then evolving and having that humility if we don't have that then the doors to peace in some respects are closed patience is an open accommodating and peaceful heart and it is when we have patience, we're not just not saying anything. <laughs> yeah, this isn't patience, just being quiet. It may be, it's a, maybe a start. Yeah, it may be a step in the direction that we, you know, previously we would have retaliated or reacted, and then we think, oh, I realize that's not a good path to go down. So I'm going to be quiet. It's a start, but it's not enough. You know, the practice of patience is not grinning and bearing situation. That's not much fun, grinning and bearing things. <laughs> is it? It's, it's not that enjoyable. Uh, Patience is a is enjoying life to some degree, learning how to enjoy life. Buddha said that we experience suffering. He said suffering is inevitable for everybody. And this was his very first teaching, what is known as the first noble truth. He said, suffering's inevitable. Physical suffering is inevitable for you, I'm afraid. 
And he, he, he said those words to help us understand the nature of our existence and patience is in tune with that patience is understanding when we experience difficulties when we experience challenges when we experience problems when we encounter unpleasant situations when we encounter challenging people patience understands that this is what happens this is what happened this is how things come into existence when we have a human life this is what will happen to us there's an openness patience is not retreating it's not running away it's accepting what is arising peacefully 